Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you 15, that's right, 15. Normally I stick to like seven, eight, maybe 10, but 15 clever tricks to make yourself look prettier. And I've done a video similar to this almost two years ago and it was a hit. So I've been preparing for this one ever since. Hopefully I don't let you down. Uh, but if you happen to be new, consider subscribing. I like to make content that is to the point, but also valuable and entertaining. So without further ado, let's get started. Step one, don't have things stuck in your teeth. Just kidding, that's actually not, not my first point, but that's just... I fixed it. The real first trick actually takes me back to the original Look Pretty video that I did. It was the point that everyone loved the very most and I guess I'm gonna repeat it right now really quickly, but I talked about how if you have a sparse hairline, like when you pull up your hair, you can take eyeshadow, like dark eyeshadow, medium eyeshadow, and just dab it along your hairline and it instantly makes your hair look fuller and thicker when you pull your hair back. It, it just, it looks, it's such a good trick. I loved it. Um, and I still use that trick to this day, but they've since come out with this magic root cover up. So this is great to actually cover up like if you have gray hair, but that's not what I use it for. I actually use this when I pull my hair back and I can spray this to make my hair look thicker around the edges. And it's just an instant trick to look prettier. Try it out. Oh, and any specific products that I use today, I will try to link and list down below if you happen to be interested. And then super quick disclaimer, I always say this, but I know looks aren't everything, but who doesn't like to learn, you know, cool beauty tricks? So let's just run with that and enjoy this video. The next clever trick that you can do every morning when you make your coffee is actually save the grounds. And what's interesting is, Many of the best-selling beauty products out there uh, often contain caffeine, and it's because people see immediate results. They like that instant gratification. So you can actually take the grounds from your coffee in the morning, you can mix it with water, you can exfoliate your face, you can actually exfoliate your lips. It's totally natural, not going to harm you at all, and you see an immediate kind of lift. It gets all of the dead skin cells off. It's just a really cool little hack um, that you actually see immediate results. And so this is from my espresso this morning, just put it in a little bowl and I can exfoliate my face and my lips. Don't forget your lips. Oh, and another thing that I like to do with these coffee grounds is actually mix it with coconut oil. Coconut oil is so good for your face. And so if you mix these grounds in your face, you can get some moisture and exfoliation at the same time. So you probably haven't noticed yet, but this entire video, I'm working from the beginning of your beauty routine all the way to the end. So this next trick again has to do with skincare because I like to do that at the beginning. Um, and unfortunately, I am not prepared with my supplies, but what we need or what you need is orange juice. My boys drank mine. So I'm going to just pretend we, we have a fake, uh, fake orange juice here. So dab, 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 dab. Orange juice has vitamin C, potent vitamin C, which is an amazing ingredient in many, many skincare lines for your skin. So why not just go directly to the source? You could even just get it from an actual orange and just rub it all over your face and it is so good for your skin and will make you feel and look prettier. Okay, so we're getting into the really good stuff now. So the next way that you can literally wake up in the morning and instantly feel and look prettier is to use instant tanner as a contour. So what you do is before you go to bed, just take a makeup brush and apply it exactly where you would just regular makeup like bronzer, um, but use instant tanner instead and just go really light with it, blend it in and then go to bed. And then you wake up in the morning and you will look so defined, contoured, bronzy, but it looks so natural and kind of in your skin versus on top of your skin like makeup. And then you could throw on some mascara, maybe a lip and you're good to go. So shout out to Jari. She actually messaged me. She DM'd me this tip a long time ago and I've been using it ever since. Now, after you do that, if you feel like you want some coverage still, but maybe not too much, you still wanna kinda of go the natural route, I really recommend mixing your favorite foundation with your favorite face moisturizer. So that will give you a natural, dewy look without it looking cakey. You have the correct color, you have the correct moisturizer that you know works with your skin, and kinda of mix the two and apply it to your face, and it's a really good instant trick. Now speaking of foundations though, the next little clever trick that I have, if you wanna just look better, is to always match your foundation to your neck. 
not your face. I did this wrong for so long. Um, and it's okay. So usually our face is a few shades different than our neck. And that's just not good. But yet people, when they go to pick out their foundations, they're always, you know, testing it on their face. Like, does this look right? But that's never the actual shade of your body. It's usually even darker or lighter than the rest of your body. So just always match your foundation to your neck and everything will look seamless and much better. Now, if you wear foundation and you wanna look prettier, you need the right foundation brush. Now, back in the day, they had this flat paddle brush thing not good, don't, don't use that. Then they came out with the flat top kabuki brushes and while they're okay, they're, they're really stiff. Don't use those. Uh, and then we've got the beauty blender and the many variations of the beauty blender. And while it's pretty good, uh, th there's just so many steps. You have to get it damp first, you have to wring it out. It's just a process. But this guys, this is, <laughs> this is life changing. This is the best foundation brush I've ever used in my life. I've gotten so many people hooked on it. I can link it down below. It's by Tarte, but it is an amazing foundation brush. It is so soft and it really blurs the foundation so well. And it's really large. So I get my foundation done in seconds flat. It's just the best foundation brush I have ever used. And I highly recommend it if you wear foundation. The next beauty trick is back to bronzer. So this is if you want more than just that instant tanner trick that I showed you earlier. Uh, this involves using the number three to apply your bronzer on your face. And the reason that this is a, such a cool trick is because it makes sure that it hits you in all of the right places. Usually when you're bronze, you want it to mimic where the sun would hit you. So it would hit you on your forehead, your cheekbone and your chin. So if you make the number three on your face and then you blend it out, out, that will ensure that you are bronzed to perfection. So next we need to talk about eyebrows. And I realize that like every video that I talk about looking more attractive or better or hotter or prettier, I am somehow always bringing up eyebrows. But I think that's because it's, it's one of the most important features on your face. So we need to get it right. So back in the day, people really liked the spermy eyebrows. Um, it was, that's what I like to call it. Uh, people just overplucked their brows and they looked like little sperm. But then people went opposite of that and it was like, we need to define them. We need to draw them in. They need to be harsh and dark and ah. Uh, and now we're in the natural phase, the best phase. Uh, so I really recommend going one shade lighter than your hair color. And that one shade lighter will still kind of define them, but it will still allow the natural hairs to be seen. So they'll look feathery and real and pretty. Okay, so this is another really cool trick. If you want an instant eye lift, you can actually take a shimmer stick or maybe shimmer eyeshadow, anything shimmery will do, uh, and put it directly above your eyebrow arch. So most people, when they want to do this, they actually apply it below the arch. But if you actually apply it above and then blend it out, it instantly lifts the eye. It's such a cool trick. More people should try it. Um, and if you, you know, just want to appear a little bit more youthful, you could also add some shimmer to the corners of your eyes to open your eyes and make them look awake. And then the Cupid's bow as well. It's just a nice little pretty pop. So hopefully I'm not the only one that still to this day gets mascara on my eyelid. I've only been applying mascara for at this point almost two decades now, and <laughs> yet it happens on the daily. So if you ever get mascara on your eyelid, all you need is a cheap little spoolie and just rub it, it comes right off. It's like a magic trick. I, I don't understand how it works. A Kleenex doesn't work, your finger doesn't work, a makeup brush doesn't work, a napkin doesn't work, I don't understand. But this cheap spoolie that you can get on the counter at Sephora for free, will take off that mascara and make your eye makeup look like you know what you're doing. Next, we are on to the lips. That was weird. So the next little trick I have is kind of like a fun DIY project. So all you need to do is get a cheap lip gloss, nothing fancy, and then you can get cinnamon or peppermint or both essential oils. And you can put a few drops into the lip gloss and you will get a very fresh scented lip gloss, but also plumper lips. Uh, cinnamon and peppermint are known to kind of increase blood flow, bring blood flow to the area and naturally plump up your lips. So it's just a fun little DIY thing you can do to have fuller lips. So now that we are done with our makeup and beauty routine, we're on to Vaseline. <laughs> and perfume. Uh, so in combination, Vaseline and perfume is a really cool trick uh, to make your perfume last 
all day. So this is my favorite perfume. It's Clean Reserve. I can link it below. It's like a healthy perfume. I've talked about it in other videos. Um, there's no bad chemicals, no bad toxins. It's really important to me. However, I will say that this doesn't last as long as normal perfume. So I use Vaseline. Sounds kind of weird. Uh, but this can definitely be used with regular perfume as well. But what it does is it creates a barrier um, and I just put it right on the spots that I normally wear perfume, like my wrist, my chest, a little maybe on my neck. Um, and then the perfume actually kind of sticks to the Vaseline. It creates a barrier so it's not just absorbed directly into my skin and then the, the scent leaves. So this makes me smell good all day long. It's a really cool trick. The next trick has to do with hair and how to make it look better. So you guys probably think like, oh, Shay has like really healthy healthy hair. I mean, actually, maybe you don't think that. I don't know. Um, I did get my extensions out, so this is all my hair. However, my trick is to actually get very subtle low lights or highlights in your hair to give it more dimension. So your hair might look like it's all one color, but it's really not. And those subtle differences in shades actually makes your hair look shinier than it really is. It's like a little trick to the eye. So that's what I do. Um, and it really, really works. So try it out. Okay, so since we have gone from the beginning beauty routine, all the way through our full face of makeup, the finishing touches with our hair, the perfume. We are on to the end of the day and our final nighttime routine, which is my last beauty trick, which is applying frankincense directly into your favorite moisturizer. Guys, this is amazing. If you've never tried frankincense, you are missing out. This is liquid gold in a bottle. They brought it to Jesus, guys. It, it works, okay? I know it's a little expensive, but it's definitely worth it giving it a try. So I actually apply this directly to my face. However, some people might be scared to do that, in which case I would definitely start with just putting a few drops into your favorite face moisturizer. So this is extremely anti-inflammatory. It reduces redness, it reduces wrinkles. It's just so good for texture. Um, it also smells amazing. So it, I, I love doing it at night because I feel like it kind of helps me sleep. It reduces anxiety. It's just a good essential oil, guys. Give it a try. Um, and yeah, I really think it'll do wonders for your face. So with that said, that is my video. I really hope you enjoyed these 15 ways to look and actually feel prettier. So thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.